Hey Campbellians, it's Nate. Today, we're gonna be installing this dual 12 volt outlet on our trailer here so we can power our Jolka hot water heater. We decided to put our dual 12 port outlet here on the passenger side near the battery bay. And the reason for that is we typically always set up our hot water heater and shower tent on this side. And we've always had to unplug a 12 volt where the refrigerator goes. We've had to unplug that and plug in our hot water heater. It's not a good idea because you forget to plug your refrigerator in, you waste all your food. So we're gonna be installing this somewhere about right here. So we're gonna be connecting this fuse block through to the power distribution panel inside the trailer with a device like this. This is called an ADA circuit. And what it's going to do is plug into the existing free fuse port that is already on the trailer and it basically splits it. So you have your normal fuse and then you'll add a, a second fuse and be able to run the power out to this, which is what we're gonna power this entire fuse block with. And uh, this way we'll be able to add more 12 volt accessories down the line. First step here is we wanna figure out where we wanna put it. We've decided to actually mount it to this battery box. And the reason for that is we want to be able to have access to take this off, access the battery and everything else. And this is the cleanest way to be able to run our wiring into our distribution panel and still be able to take this top off and service the battery or check our connections. Now, one thing to note, we need to be careful here with this door latch. If you move it this way, it will not shut because of the store latch, but if you move it over to the left side, it will shut completely. So here's the front of our power distribution panel, and we're gonna have to take the cover off. So let's open this door and take this screw out right here. It's also a good idea at this point to go ahead and turn, make sure your trailer is unplugged and uh, turn your battery disconnect to off. So now we have the cover off and this is what you'll see. Just to orientate you here, this side here is your 120 volt or your shore power that powers your regular AC outlets and your air conditioner. Um, at this side here is your 12 volt. So these are your typical 12 volt fuses that you would see on your car. They're, these are the large style. Our add a fuse circuit is actually the wrong size. So what you wanna do is make sure that it is not one of these smaller ones uh, that you get uh, the full size here. But we're actually gonna make this work. It can work. And the uh, thing to remember here is our fuses here are 15 amp fuses. And uh, when you do this out of circuit here, what you want to be able to do is put two additional fuses in here. And this is gonna be two 15 amp fuses. And we're gonna remove this 15 amp and we will plug in this one right where the 15 amp fuse was. And this is actually gonna complete the circuit on the old circuit there. And it will give us a new power lead, which we're gonna run out through here and into our battery compartment. So now we have our hot wire here. And what we're gonna do is just push it through one of these openings here and feed it through to where you can pull it out on the other side. So now we've gotten our uh, wire pulled through here and we just made sure that it didn't touch anything or you know is tangled with anything important behind here. It's just a clean run through that the little vent hole back there. And now we're going to skin this wire and uh, connect it up to our uh, out of circuit. We're just gonna plug it in to where our old fuse used to be. So we have it plugged in here and you can actually really see the size difference between the uh, original fuses and the new fuses. Now, ideally uh, we wanna go with the same type of fuse, but uh, in this case, this is what we had. So we're gonna go ahead and wire it up this way and replace it later. What we need to do is tuck this wire back in and make it nice and neat. So remember, we put a 15 amp fuse in on that side. So we're gonna have 15 amps available on this wire and we're gonna connect it to the positive terminal on this distribution block here, on this fuse block. You couldn't put more than 15 amps in total on all six of these. So if you had a two amp here, two amp here, that's only four amps, that's fine. If you have five amps and five amps, 
that's only 10 amps, you're still fine. You just wanna be mindful of the total amount of power that you have coming into this distribution block. So now to run our negative or our grounding wire, and that's gonna to run to, to this negative terminal here. Now, we didn't run a, we don't have to run a ground wire into our uh, distribution panel. What we're actually gonna do is run it into the battery and connect it to the negative side of the battery. So now it's time to hook everything up. All right, wires are done. Now let's uh, hook up our outlet. So we're actually going to mount this here, actually put some self-tapping screws into the aluminum frame here. But we're also gonna have to drill a hole through our floor right about here so we can run these wires up to connect to our fuse block. I'm actually going to use a 5 16 drill bit. You just want to make sure that there's nothing over here, no wires, anything that you're going to hit on most of our trailers. There's nothing really between the battery box here and the partition for the inside. Yep, you. So a little trick you can do here if you've got two separate wires but you want to coil them around each other is take your drill, put both ends in into the check, tighten it down, have uh, someone hold on this end, and then start real slow. And there you have it. up now we'll just run our test by putting our fuse in here and see if we have power on it we're just going to put a 10 amp fuse here and now all we have to do is test so we're gonna test with our Jolka 12 volt pump we have a light and that's it, we know we're working. You're hitting the box. You're supposed to hit the box? I hit the box? Yeah, come on, someone in there. Oh, <laughs> The screw does not like me. If you okay. like this video, please hit subscribe, hit like, give us a thumbs up, comment as much as you can. That really helps us. That's how we're able to bring this content to you and stay tuned for more.